Hello YouTube and welcome to my laundry room slash evil lair, I guess. Uh yeah. Um, so here I have that lovely pose stand that I mentioned the other day, and today I am going to be unboxing ja the January 2017 Lux Box. Of course, evil lairs slash laundry rooms are the most natural place to um do an unboxing obviously um now luxbox for those of you who don't know is a monthly second life subscription box it contains offerings from 12 designers it was actually the first of these um subscription boxes in second life the original and it's shiny and uh it's 1500 lindens with a group join and then after the 15th of each month when it's released the price will go up to 3,000 lindens. Uh, you get a mixture of clothing, hair, and home and garden stuff. And it's, you know, it's really neat and something I look forward to doing every month. Here, for your delectation, is the HUD, which delivers all the goodies to you. Um, when you first put it on, it actually, um, it, it's like a, it's like an actual box that you can take the lid off and it's really really cute but um here you get a little cute polaroid preview of each item in the box and then as you click on each one it delivers it to you now there is a 20 second um gap between each that you're allowed to click uh so that it doesn't cause the servers to blow up so i've actually already done that bit but the designers this month in the January Lux Box are Blueberry, Empire, Flowey, Boxes, Ison, Lamb, Mishmish, Moon, Scarlet Creative, Tart, Teefy, and Trebla. Having learned my or someone else's lesson from the Deco Crate unboxing, I have actually gone ahead and put all these things in a folder together this time instead of just being all like uh here's a thing I'm gonna put it out I'm gonna put it out but I'm still gonna be like that because that's my general personality um so yeah uh okay let's start out with clothes first of all we have blueberry denim skirts heart um now I always love blueberry I buy so much blueberry this is a HUD I always forget this is a HUD every single time I forget this is a HUD res it on the floor and then I'm like where is it with the blueberry I, I want to I want to unbox the blueberry and I can't find it but here it is my product has been unpacked I will please detach detach through the magic of my super super professional editing I am now magically wearing the denim skirt by blueberry uh it comes in various sizes uh the Belitza Freya and Venus and Isis uh, the Slink Hourglass and Physique and the Matreya Lara. I am wearing the Matreya Lara. Now it's a super short skirt. Oh, I love the texturing on it though. Very pretty texturing. But very, very, very short skirt. Probably shorter than I'd wear without like tights or some such. And it has a HUD because Blueberry is very HUD friendly. And it's over here on that side. <gasps> um, and yeah, it's got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen different denim shades, ranging from black through white, and you know, with various grey and stone wash iterations between. I'm kind of a sucker for like dark grey denim, so I'm gonna put that one on. Different colours for these uh, lace ties here. Not lace ties, lacing ties. Ties that are lacing. I'm going to go with orange, just for plain. And then it has inbuilt panties, um, as Blueberry does, because they like your modesty. And those you can turn off if you hate your modesty. But then there are various different colors for those too. Um, I will not be upskirting this video. Well, I probably will at some point, but it'll be an accident. So yeah, that's the denim skirt by Blueberry. And it's really nice, but I would only wear it with tights because, lord, that's short. I am not a tall woman. But yes, it is extremely nicely made. And if we cam around the back, Blueberry always does really nice ass. Just, just putting it out there. Not even gonna lie. 
that's some good butt. Our next thingy is the Empire Alchemida. I think they're boots. Um, let's see. Unpacking. Yes, they are unpacked. They're in my inventory. I may delete it now. I will. Doing it. I always come to a sad dichotomy when I go to put boots on. Because I wear the Matreya body, but I'm very old school and I favor slink hands and feet. And so, I'm always like, Aww, I have to put the Matreya feet on. Um, because otherwise they won't fit my legs. But it's it's very sad for me. It's heartbreaking. The Empire Alchemila boots come in Belitza, Freya, Isis, and Venus. And in Slink, Hourglass, and Physique, which would presumably, you know, be designed to fit the Slink high feet. Then they also come in TMP, which is so somewhat unusual, and would, I assume, fit the TMP OUCH feet. I, I like that they're called ouch, okay? And then the Maitreya, which I am wearing, which fit the Maitreya high feet. Now, these are very nice boots. They're kind of sandaly and booty at the same time. They're having a beautiful identity crisis. I really like this zipper. I don't know why, I just really like the curve of the zipper there. They do pair rather nicely with the blueberry skirt, I have to say. Um, so they come with a HUD with different colors. Empire is another one who is very generous with the colors in their HUD. And also, you know, you can change the different parts of the boot. Okay, we're changing the color of the various metal bits for this. Um, so that's the zipper in these little studs here. We can make them gold or silver or black. And then this, I believe, changes, yes, the color of the base of the shoe, the sole of the shoe. So you can make them variously black and pink. I, I don't like pink. You should all know I do not like pink. Um, and beige and so on. Or rather sexy red. But that blends in with my washing machine. So we'll go with white for now. Um... You can individually change the colors of these strappy parts and the fixtures here. And you can change the color of the boot itself, like the main part of the boot. As you can see, I've made it minty. And you can change the color of the laces. Um, so I've changed them from something quite elegant and sexy to something kind kind of sporty but that's the thing is you've got some versatility here you've got a lot of versatility if you get creative you know at first i put them on i was like eh, i don't know but yeah i mean i like them but i was just thinking i don't know if they're my style but i feel like i could you know make them bright and horrifying enough that i could make them rather me if I so desired, which I do. Look, ooh, look, they're kind of denim-y now. Yes, that's fun. I really like, you know, the aspect of being able to mix a batch with Empire stuff. So that is the Alcamilla booty stiletto-y shoey thingies. And they're cool. Stories and Co. by Flowey has a top for us. It is the Chocodent top. And it comes in Matreya. Slink Hourglass and Slink Physique, and it comes with two HUDs. Oh, that is extremely cute. That is super wearable. Like a nice ribbed sweater, like a light sweater, with this little choker detail built in. Oh, I like that lots. I really like that. That is very wearable. I can see myself wearing this a lot. So it comes with two HUDs, the Dark HUD and the Light HUD. So let's take a look at the Dark HUD. Because, you know, it's darkness. Um, you probably have to know that song to... Yeah. Anyway, it comes on the dark card with chili, kale, navy, and black. I'm going to try kale because I like green. And I really, really, really like this green. Like, like I'm not even kidding. I really, you know, it's basically almost black. I am so into it. Um, so that's the uh, dark HUD for it, and here comes the light HUD. 
Uh, the Light HUD comes in blush, lilac, blue, and off-white. It's, you know, a bit pale for me. Um, but they're still, like, really nice shades anyway. I just don't really pastel much. Well, I do pastel much, but I pastel in my own way. Um, I pastel under my own terms and you can't make me be your pastel. But yes, this is the blue. It's pretty. It's a super nice top and I really, you know, I think I will actually get quite a lot of wear out of this one. So that was the Choker Knit Top by Stories & Co by Flowey. The next Luxbox item is by Foxes and is simply called Luxbox. Being a fickle sort, I decided that the poses in my pose stand were too boxy and so I added some new ones and now I'm standing a little more naturally. Okay, uh, so the Luxbox outfit by Foxes is a two-piece outfit comprising a top and a skirt for Bileza, um, Freya, Isis and Venus and for Maitreya. No slink sizes here unfortunately but you know. Um, so this is really nice. It's very sexy you know but not too sexy like you know I'm not gonna go out feeling like a street walker in this. It's really nice. I love like the the sort of drape of it right here on the skirt. Um, it's got like this sort of split at the side of the skirt and yeah it's it's really really pretty i love this this gathering i think it's beautifully mashed um i can see myself breaking this up into top and skirt personally rather wear, rather than wearing it together but each piece is very beautifully made and the texturing is just i mean you know the leather texture on this is so nice they do such excellent work foxes now it comes with a hud and the HUD will load. I promise it will. Ah, okay. Oh, that's really cool. You can change the color of the top itself and the skirt and also the sides of the skirt. So I've, I've gone with a kind of, you know, deconstructed aerial kind of deal here I guess um, deconstructed isn't the word but you know ooh and the sides oh look look if I put the white it's this really nice brocade is this the case with all the pastel shades I think it is oh that's beautiful I really dig that yes um, I don't think it does the brocade with the dark colors we'll see we will see we will see. Oh, it does! Oh, that's very, very pretty. I like that even more now I realize that. So yeah, the majority of it is this beautifully textured, like, leather. And then the sides have this subtle brocade. And yeah, you could make it, like, peppy and cute like this. Or, you know, a bit more sexy and nighttimey with the darker colors. Or even olive, which is very sophisticated. I'm, I'm liking the... The olive option. It reminds me of a Sweet Valley High book I read like in the 80s where Jessica decided she was going to be all sophisticated and she dyed her hair black and she wore this olive green leather pencil skirt which I don't know always stuck in my head. This is obviously not a pencil skirt but it's it's very very nice and again good butt. Yeah that's really nice the Fox's Luxe Box January outfit. The next thing I have crammed in my object folder um, is the hair by Lamb. And you know, hey, why not live a little? Mix it up. Go crazy. Go go mix up hair and clothes. <gasps> oh, I, I really am pushing the boundaries right here. I know. The hair by Lamb is called Widow Speak or Widow's Peak or Widow but I've been watching Vikings lately and so I'm sort of thinking in my head like widow speak you know uh, with, with a with a terrible fake Scandinavian accent that I just I'm sorry for doing uh, so let's see how cute it is I am a big fan of lamb hair in general Ooh, yes I am a big fan of lamb hair in general let's put on the red's hood yes I love how lambs 
like long hairs just have this really natural soft wave to them I've always you know ever since lamb first opened just really been into their long hairs uh, this is my red I also really like I really like this shade of red this is like my ideal red this one here yes oh yes I really love this widow's it's called widow's speak I guess because it doesn't really have a widow's peak so yeah yeah I really like that it's um it's a standard lamb hair which is beautiful very well made very nice natural uh soft wave to it and it comes in you know so many colors all these huts here and it comes with hair base if you are you know still wearing your system head and it's cool I really like it I really like lamb hair yes this is one that I'm gonna wear a lot well I was gonna put on the other hair that I was wearing so as not to cover up clothes but the next thing we've got is a skirt by Ison the front zipper skirt I really like their bags just incidentally like it's like this nice little clutch it's subtle it's not like it's not like hi I'm a big bag but it's also not just a box the ice on front zipper skirt comes in Matreya slink hourglass and slink physique sizes Ooh, that's fun it's got like this punky plaid thing going on with it I like that it, it kind of reminds me of clueless but with like a, a sort of punky pencil skirt thing going on it has a HUD as these things tend to and the HUD comes with one two three four fifteen colors including this uh, raspberry plaid and this gray plaid and then various solids you can, so you can you can do yourself a solid with this skirt no I've never been comfortable with that phrase I, I apologize for even attempting it it was wrong of me um, I really like this folds detail on it. I really like folds on skirts, okay? It's 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 a sickness of mine. And the zipper is very nicely done. Of course Ison is very nicely done. Ison is always gloriously done, but I like I can sort of it's got like a very tactile feel in my mind to it, this skirt. Um so yeah that is the front zipper skirt by following our theme of throwing caution to the wind in terms of categories. Um, I'm going to open the Mish Mish Corgi Puppy. Um, of course, I am British and God save the Queen and yay corgis. Um, Mish Mish things are always really like ridiculously adorable. So we have a holdable one, a companion one, which will waddle along next to me presumably. <gasps> I hope it wiggles its butt. And three in different stances. So let's look at one of the stancy ones. Stance one. Oh, you're over here. Turn around, puppy. Turn around. Oh, <gasps> look at that face! Oh my god, look at that dirt face. That's ridiculous. That is so cute. The Lakogi bum? Yes. Dirt, dirt. Oh, too cute, too cute. Let's look at stance too. Oh, they're getting cuter. This one just wants to sit and eat my star paint. He can't. He'll get a really bad tummy. But, you know. He, he, he really wants to. He, he thinks it would be delicious. And he'd be right. And stance three. <gasps> oh my god! They just like, 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 each time. Exponential cuteness. That's ridiculous. Look at him. He's like a flop. He's like a little flop. I don't even like corgis in real life. But these are just, like, absurd. <gasps> my god. Okay, let's stand up for a minute and let's hold a corgi. Let's look all light, classy and stuff like we do and then hold a squishy, squishy, oh my God, puppy. Look at his little head bobbling. And then companion, can you be my little friend? Oh, you're too low down. Come up, come up, come up. Look at him. Look at him, he's all like, Got little legs. I, I probably can't capture him walking, but his legs are ridiculous. Actually, my hop is bad. Oops. Oh well. It's very, very soft tile in this room. 
Oh, he is cute. Oh, yes. Okay, so I think we can establish that the Mish Mish Corgi Puppy is ridiculous. Okay, just like, like, oh my god, what the hell, ridiculous. All right, now I have somewhat composed myself from how adorable the Mish Mish Corgi Puppy was. Um, it is time for some moon hair. This hair is called Mouth. And here it is. It's a very nice straight style, very simplistic. I'm liking to see this has more of a widow's peak than the hair called widow's peak, but the hair called widow's peak could have been called widow's peak. So yeah, we'll, we'll say no more about that. I think with Moon, I wear the erratics. The reds are a bit too earthy for me. Um, I really like the graphic of their, of their hearts, by the way. I, I like this Moon, thank you. Uh, yes, that's right, that's right. I wear page one and I wear the rooted red and then I like to tint it um, and tone it down a bit because there's no pleasing me. But honestly, I really like, for instance, this teal. This teal is beautiful. I like this teal. But yes, I like to tint it just a little gray just to tone it down a little. Yeah, that's nice. That's a very, you know, a very nice basic straight hair with a very nice hairline. And go away, you snow. Um, I, I like this one strand here. I think that is very cute. So that is the moon hair called Mouth. And I like the fit of it too. Uh, since I got this mesh head, I think this hair fits better than it did on my system head. So that's cool. That is a bonus. The next two things are definitely home and garden things, so I'm going to skip those for now and we'll go outside in a minute. But next, 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 then it's Tifi. Tifi Luxe Box. January 2017. I'm still not used to that. Version 0 0.1, which looks to be a skirt. A skirt. I can say words. Like skirt. Skirt words. The Gia Caged Skirt, which uh, comes in two lengths, actually, and it also comes in Slink Hourglass, Slink Physique, and Maitreya. That is a really nice skirt. I like that better than I did in the preview picture. I like that, yes. It's got this, like, strappiness at the sides. Yeah, I really, really like that a lot. And, oh, I like the back here, too, this sort of, uh, this sort of zippery seam at the back. I know that's an odd detail to notice, but I really like that. Uh, yeah, I'm into it. Let's try the shorter one. Okay, it's a little bit shorter. Yes, it's kind of sci-fi, but not like horrifically so. Um, I like that. It has a HUD, and the HUD, the HUD has 15 different colors on it. Um, ranging from this rather bright blue, all the way down to this paler blue. And, you know, other colors that aren't blue, if, if that's your bag, things that aren't blue, you know. Um, I think I like the longer one better, but yes, I like this skirt. It is cuter than I thought it was in the profile picture, and I dig it. I dig it bunches. Finally, in the wearables category of our January 2017 Luxe Box, we have the Trey Blast Smitten outfit which is in a sweet little shopping bag. Okay, the Trey Blast Smitten outfit comes in the uh, uh, Belitza, Freya, and Isis shapes, Slink, Physique, and Hourglass, and the Matreya. And is a lot more summery than I'm used to seeing this time of year, and I am not complaining because I am cold right now, and I am really ready for it to be warmer. Now, in true Trey Blast style, it's got this lovely vintage print going on, and I like this. Um, I feel like like I would be told to button it up. So, it's, uh, but it is very, very sweet indeed. The HUD is very mix and matchable. The skirt, the skirt has so many cute little prints. I love the vintage prints that you get on Trey Blast stuff. Trey Blast, vintage like silk is just lovely just very very touchable and you know quirky without being like way out there 
It's very, very cute, and I'm going to love wearing this in summer, but excuse me if I don't um, at the January. My feet are so cold. I'm looking at this. I'm going, ooh, I like this. This is one of my favorite colors. It's really weird. It's this sort of, you know, slightly purpley dove gray. I really, I really like that color. If you give me anything that color, I'll be like, yes. And then the skirt doesn't only come in prints. It comes in a few sensible plain. And yes, I'm going to, I think, wear this a lot in summer. I have taken my summery butt outside to the least wintry part of my land to take a look at the Scarlet Creative Catskills Lodge that came in the Lux box. Hopefully this will be space enough to res it out. Ooh, that is nice. I like this. This is a lot more livable than a lot of Scarlet Creative stuff. A lot of times, in my opinion, Scarlet Creative is like, it's exquisite to look at, but it's like, okay, but how are you gonna put your stuff in there? How are you gonna find your way around? I have no sense of direction. I, I do have sense of direction, but I have no sense of direction, and those houses are sometimes very, very artistically beautiful. But this, oh, look at this. Oh, wow. I really love, for a start, the texturing, this wood texture. It's so smooth. It makes me happy. And the way the light plays on it. <gasps> yes. I love this. Oh. Wow. Oh, and it's got this porch around here. See the doors. Ooh, the doors open. Nice. Yeah, this is very, very nice. No privacy, but it is so pretty. Oh, the textures on it. This, like, stone floor. Oh, yes, I, I like this. And I like the sort of eco design of it. I like that really so much. I like this this frame around the porch. Yes, this is beautiful. This is so pretty. Let's see. Um, it is 39 land impact, which is a very, very good land impact for a build like this. And uh, it also comes with snow, which I'm not going to res out now because I'm over here. It's not snowy over here. Uh, but yes, yeah, snow to put on the roof, and oh yeah, I really like this a lot. I'm just gonna come and have a look inside, because I am small, and buildings are big. Oh yeah, this is a really usable space. I like this. Ooh. Magic, I'm a ghost. <gasps> yeah, I love this. So that's the Scarlet Creative Catskill Lodge. And the other um, non-wearable thingy that we have is the Tarte Aria Daybed. Oh, wear me. Okay, I'll wait. So the Tarte Aria Daybed. The blanket's text change, I'm told. By, by this note card title here. Oh, let's flip it around. I, you know I love Tarte stuff. Um, well, maybe you don't. I don't remember. But I do. I really love Tarte furniture. Oh look, it's so cozy. It's got like this sort of shabby chic to it, but not like a whole shabby chic. Like a like a a sneaky shab kind of thing. It, it's kind of it reminds me kind of like somewhere between a pew and a bed. Oh, it's really nice. And the blankets texture change. Oh, just with a click. It's five land in fact. And, oh, I think the blanket changes to match the pillows. I think. And if we sit on it, it has singles, friends, and snugs. I'm a single, where it's kind of sit singly. I'm a her. I can sit tucked. Oh, yep. Oh, side. Oh, it's that kind of side. 
Okay, see, look, there's the accidental upskirt that I promised. You're so welcome, everyone. Um, and then, yes, there are friend poses. I like friend poses, like spending Tim and chatting. But I have no friends here right now, so I'm just a nivy no mate sitting here full cross. So, anyway, that is my rambling Lux box unboxing. And yeah, it's really cool. And you can, if you missed it this month, you can pick it up. You can still join the group, I think, for a fee of 3,000 lindens. And then you can pick the Lux box up at the Lux box headquarters, which I will link to in the description. Meanwhile, if you are in the group, don't forget to pick up your Lux box. And that's that. Um, okay, just briefly, the outfit credits from what I was wearing at the beginning of the video. My sweater is was by Sweet Thing, and uh, it's called Tanako. The jeans were by Tetra, and they were the ripped high-waisted jeans. My hair was Magica Things. And my shoes were ROC high tops, women's high tops. Um, of course, without the visual reference, that's no use to you. But in case you were watching this whole video and going, oh, I hope she tells me, then, you know, you'll know what it is. Um, and that is the end of my Lux Box unboxing video. And thank you for watching. And if you liked it, you're a fool. Um, but uh, you can remember to like and subscribe and if you already do that thank you it's a boost to my ego and yeah thank you for watching